All right, we just finished JT's haircut. You guys said you wanted to see me do a beard that wasn't as full as the last one I did, so we're gonna shape his beard. He is ready. He has been letting it go for a while now, so we're gonna cut it down quite a bit, but leave him a beard. I'm gonna show you guys how to tackle some of these light spots, make it look consistent. We're gonna start off exactly the same way as we did on the last video. Let's we'll start with the number three. I'm gonna go with the grain on his cheek. So I'm just, I'm coming off his cheek. I'm not getting into the bottom. I'm not rounding it in. We will shape that freehand. So I'm just coming straight down the cheek. That's gonna contour to his face, cut his cheek down, give us a nice clean side of the cheek. And we'll deal with some of these inconsistencies that you guys see to make sure that everything looks consistent and leave him a nice full beard. So I'm gonna go up a guard. I'm gonna start here where this, you guys see there's some hairs here. I'm gonna cut it where it's, make sure his cheek looks consistent. So you see we're, we're getting more consistent. That honestly might need to be a three. So all the way across where that is, making sure, and you guys can see just because of his, kind of the density of his beard, it looks different in different areas. So now we'll go to the three, go above it. Cut it down. And we're gonna fade our way up on the sideburns, so. That's the three. We'll go right above that with the two. Again, guys, we're cutting the color, so if something looks darker, like right here, it's okay to, it's okay to cut it with something different just to make sure that it looks consistent. Now, one and a half, half open, above that. Now I open one, right above the one and a half, guys, same exact steps as we would do on a fade or a taper. So open one, close one, half guard, half open. And this is pretty compact, guys. We're, we're not having a lot of room. We're just going right above what we just did and working our way up. So there's our faded beard already. We're, we're faded out. Now we're gonna work on the shape a little bit and we will kind of tackle this dark patch right here as we get to it. He wants to kind of tame this thing. So I'm gonna kind of look at where I can make a nice clean line. We're gonna come probably just about here. So we'll go little by little and adjust as we go, but I'm just gonna come in, start a line. You know the holidays are coming. He wanna look presentable. We're gonna shape it up, make it look a little bit, bit nicer. So, same thing as the other video, guys. I'm using my boosted, it freehands super good, gives me a nice clean line here, and then I'll come in with my trimmer after and touch it up. But this is gonna give us a nice rough draft. You see, I can come this way and shape right over into the length. Make sure it's consistent. We'll come in with our trimmer after this. We'll get this side, side bar, back bar, whatever you wanna call it and work our way down here. Now you guys see how dark it is over here on this side of his cheek. So in order to kind of help that, I'm gonna start with a big guard, I'm gonna come through. I just wanna kind of start to lighten that up. You guys see one lick with a three. It's already looking more consistent. I really just wanna cut the hairs that I wanna cut and not cut a whole lot. So obviously his chin has plenty of hair. We're not worried about taking any of that off. We're just gonna freehand it. But everything else we can just kind of work with our guard and get it to where it looks consistent. And again, guys, if it's if it's that light and we can't go that far, I'm not going to, because I don't want to take his whole beard off. But I'm going to come in, hit this back bar. These are the Stylecraft Sabres, guys. This is, as at the moment, this is my favorite trimmer. It's out, and I just saw that it is coming out in black. So let's hope we see them things soon. Of course, I will do a video for you guys if I get them. I did just drop the Instinct video, which is almost as good as the Sabre. I haven't quite decided yet. If it's, uh, if it's gonna take over for the Sabre, but it is good as well. So if you guys didn't see that video and you wanna know more about the Instinct, go check it out. Now I can come in guys and start to clean up this bottom line with my trimmer just to make sure. We want the line to be sharp. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this. He probably hasn't trimmed under here in about six months, so. Make sure we get all this cleaned up. The trimmer, the trimmer's gonna do a cleaner line. But guys, be careful because it is a trimmer, it's sharper. Make sure you're not hurting somebody. Some people have sensitive skin. You wanna go against the growth pattern. I would not usually do this and just drag down. So if you do have to go against, kind of turn your trimmer, make sure that you know, you're being gentle and not causing them a bunch of irritation and get that cleaned up. So absolutely clean already compared to what he started with. Again, guys, he's, he's got an interesting beard. He's got some light spots, so we're gonna, we're gonna do the other side. We'll come back, we can adjust if we need. I already see something right here. Now this looks darker than back here. So I know this is a two, so I'm gonna go from here straight across. And we just wanna get this from here up looking consistent. So that's a two, go one and a half. And once it looks good, I'm gonna stop. I don't wanna take this whole, this whole beard off. Trying to get it as consistent as we can. 
I don't want a dark patch back here and a light patch up there. So there's that. Now we can come in with our razor and get the line together. All right, guys, so I like to start with the trimmer and just any of these hairs up here that I know I'm obviously going to cut off, I'm going to get with the trimmer just so it's less, uh, you know, irritation for the client. So you can already see we kind of got a shape there. Now we'll come into the sideburn and start to round into the beard. You got to stretch the skin, pull the blade. Guys, this is the 245 triple cartridge razor, and these are called raw and uncut razor blades. I don't think they're necessarily raw and uncut, but they are uh, they are super sharp. So little by little, kind of going to the fullest point, working my way back now towards the corner. Stretch the skin, I can make this curve straight and round it up into the sideburn area. So boom, there you go. Now we'll flip him to the other side. And then once we kind of get them both done, we can clean this up and make sure it's how we want. You're gonna look different, boy. All right, guys, so same thing on this side. We're gonna go with the three to start, straight down. Now that I did the other side, it's a little bit easier, right? Because I kind of know what we're gonna do. I've kind of learned. Now, he does have a little bit different growth on this side. So some of the parts that were light on the other side, he doesn't necessarily have here. Kind of got a steel cut accordingly, but now we kind of know what we're gonna do. So I know this patch right here is extra heavy. I'm just gonna start with the number four right there. Go all the way across, and now we're just going to fade our way up. So we're still fading our way up. We're just starting way lower because of kind of the end, the end goal here. So now I'm in with the number three. And at this point, I'm trying to make it match the other side. So we know we did a three and then a two above that, and then the two faded all the way out to the top of the sideburn. So that was a three. Now a two at the top, kind of. Most of the top, I'm going to open it up and get this dark spot right here. And we'll work our way up. So that was a two. Now one and a half, half open at the top of the line. Bottom of the, uh, not really a sideburn, but I guess it would be a sideburn if it was not tapered here. So there's that, one and a half. Now the open one. Just at the peak of this kind of this wedge here in the corner. Close it up above that. Easy, guys. Beard fades are so easy. If you're not fading your client's beard out, at least right here, you're cheating yourself because that is a part of a haircut. It makes it look so much better when you at least fade it out. Even JT was rocking that crazy full beard, but at least fading this out makes it look like it goes with the haircut. Now that's out, we're going to start to shape it. I know we went pretty. I'm going to just step over here and look. We kind of started it right here at the back, so I'm going to go in and just start shaping it up, work my way to the middle, and then we can look from the front and make sure that we got it consistent before we kind of finalize everything. Much easier the second time because I know what we already did. Boom, quick and easy. Now I can come kind of up here and just kind of freehand shape this. We got a little bit of some wild hair, so just a little bit. Now we'll tackle the front at the end and make sure it's all perfect. But yeah, we got it pretty much shaped up. Now we'll come in with the trimmer and do our lines, and then we can hit it with the razor, and we'll finish up the middle. Same thing, guys, straight down the back. I call this the back bar of the beard. Go ahead and scoop all this hair off. Now we'll clean this up. We already did it with the clippers, and if your clippers are good enough, sometimes this line might be good, but I still want to come in here with the trimmer, get all this neck hair off. Some people can't really take a shaver right here, so that's kind of something you just ask your client. Do you want a shaver down there? Does it irritate your skin? They might go home and actually shave this part themselves. You just need to check with the client and make sure that they're good with it. So there's that. We'll come in and do the razor line. I'll turn him and do his mustache and the bottom of his chin. The same thing here, guys. I'm going to step around. It hits at the corner of his mustache. I'm going to start up here. Razor it over. Of course, it's faded, guys, but I'm just kind of visualizing where that sideburn will be. And then because he has so much cheek hair, I'm going to go ahead and start on this flat, the flat part right here. Then I can stretch it right here and kind of curve that in together. So you guys see I'm able to stretch that, pull it totally straight, and curve it in towards the mustache. And I'm way high, so it's really at the top of this light spot. And now we'll just adjust and work our way back to that corner. You see we got a little bump here now because I was higher, so now we just work back towards that edge, stretching the skin. Boom. All right, so last but not least, now we just have to connect it all together. So we're looking at the line we did here, and it's going to start to really, actually, I'm going to take my guard again because he's got so much chin hair, and I'm going to start to shape it with that to his face again, following his face shape. 
again, to just kind of give me a baseline because he had so much air right here. And then all we got to do is come in and basically cut straight back on that line that we want. And now that's here, we can just come here, take it straight across, connect it all together. And I can't see from the front, guys. You can see from the front, so don't judge me till I get to step around and get it all the way together. Well, there's one side. Now we can come here. See, so, yeah, guys, you just gotta kind of look back and forth until you feel like you got it where you want it. I do see some people use kind of scissors to shape these longer parts of the beard. If that's something you guys wanna do. There's no rules, you can do it that way if, if you want, but I'm just double checking. Now, last but not least, guys, we'll do some final work with the trimmer to make sure that it's where we want. And I'm just gonna trim his mustache real quick and you guys can check out the end result. You guys, I'm basically just trying to follow his lip shape. If he wants to really go in, I don't know if I mentioned this, but a lot of us at the shop, we don't, uh, we don't, or I say we don't, we do our own beards. So even when I get my hair cut, I don't, I don't usually get my beard done. I'll do it myself. Now he's so far gone on this beard, he wanted me to do it. And I wanted to do a video. And you know, the, the bigger and out of shape it is, it takes a little more work. It's something you kind of want somebody to do, but definitely if he wants to go back and, and cut his mustache a little bit more, anything like that, you know, he obviously, has a station full of tools and he can tweak it if he wants, but he definitely wanted to get some of that length off. And I don't know about you guys, but first haircut and the first beard, he's looking like a different, like a different dude. You guys make sure when you're using a trimmer, like these sabers are pretty sharp, so I'm really trying to be careful not to, not to press real hard, not to hit like the soft part of his lip. I've actually done it to myself and it, uh, it just about cut the skin on my lip. So you guys just wanna be careful. Little by little, get it together. Like I said, we got him looking like a different dude. All right guys, that is it for the beard tutorial on JT. You guys have any other topics or uh, cuts like that that you guys wanna see? Let me know if you didn't see this haircut on him. Go check it out. I just dropped it last week. If you guys liked it, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up. Of course, make sure you guys are subscribed, guys. I got some new clippers coming. A bunch of tutorials recorded before Christmas. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you next time.